What's going on, Nation? And welcome back to another episode here on the channel as we're back here for some more Manchester United football here today in Mission Recondition as we're taking against Atletico in a semifinal matchup here in the uh, Champions League. And of course, Ronaldo will be in action here as he's leading goals right now in the Champions League with 13. And I'm trying to see if we can try to maybe tack on a few more here today in today's matchup. So, as you see here, the other matchup as well is the other man, uh, man uh, Manchester City uh, team. That'll be Manchester City taking on, uh, I believe that was the Liverpool, I think it was. Or no, no excuse me, Real, Mil or Real Madrid. So, they'll be in action. And, of course, we'll find out who will if we, if we can uh, beat this um, uh, at Mad, uh, Atletico del uh, Madrid if we can beat them and we'll find out see who we play uh, between Real Madrid and Man U or, or I should say Man City so as you take a look here here's just some stats right now of uh, everything from goals to assists, clean sheets as well as yellow cards and red cards and so far here in Champions League we've been uh, pretty, doing pretty well for ourselves as uh, we're just trying to see if we can try to get a victory here. And of course, remember this is a two. There's two legs to this uh, semifinals. We have to play a game on the road in uh, in uh, at Atletico, and then of course play a game as well at home. And of course, it is all about uh, aggregate. So we got to try to make sure we get the best. Uh, really, truly, try to get uh, more goals. Uh, then we can get a lot of goals as we can, but most importantly, get a lot of road uh, road goals uh, when we do go on the road. As we take a look here at, at uh, Atletico's team, and I'm not really familiar with their team that much, uh, but if you guys uh, go back and check those out, you guys can check out the numbers here. But there you see the uh, competition numbers right now for a lot of our guys, and for the most part here, we're, we're, like I said, we've been smooth sailing here, doing a great job here in a lot of different competitions that we've been in so far here. Of course. Got knocked out of the Cabrero Cup. Hopefully we can get back in there next season. But uh, now we're trying to go for the Champions League. And obviously we still have uh, the, uh, of course, the FA Cup. And of course uh, we'll be hopefully marking our spot there for the Premier League at some point here. Uh, and of course uh, in today's episode we will have more Premier League action as we'll be taking on Brentford in a matchup with them. Uh, where uh, that'll be uh, one of two matches. So yeah, today's episode we have uh, two matches here in the in the Champions League. First one, of course, uh, will be against Atletico at home. Then we will go to Brentford for the second match, and then we'll head back uh, into the Champions League to take on Atletico again. Uh, but this time that will be a road game. As you see, Ruben Neves' numbers here this season. Uh, for the most part, like I said, we've been really doing really well, really well in all different, a lot of different competitions here. Of course, Ronaldo's been doing great, and this is, of course, his swan song for his final year here in uh, professional football. Uh, and of course, so uh, we'll have to make those uh, drastic changes when it comes to that striker position. And I got a couple of ideas of guys who I want to bring in. Of course, um, you know, one of the guys I think for the most part here will probably get the position uh will be rashford uh he's kind of a shoe in for me personally um he's been one of my favorites there but yeah rashford is one of those top guys that can go in there play uh that position as well as a couple of others uh that could uh you know uh, could do something for us help us out and get something going uh for us is of course uh marcel uh, of course, he's on loan. He should be making his return. Uh, we should have actually quite a few guys uh, making a lot of returns coming up next season. So uh, we got some we got some changes here. Uh, we got some great players that are going to be coming back that are actually doing very well for themselves uh, on loan. And of course, uh, some of those guys will make uh, you know make their way to the pitches on off season and going into uh, the upcoming season. As uh, the season, of course, season one of this series is starting to wind down. And uh, there you see, they're both representatives of both squads here. As like I said, we are at home, so this is Old Trafford. So this is going to be a tough uh, time for here for 
athletical, but most importantly, we have to focus here. Uh, this is a, uh, you know, we have to get on the right foot here. We got to try to score as many home goals as we can. And of course, uh, you know, this is of course all based on aggregate. Uh, and so the better we can play here today at home, uh, then not so much work we have to put into, um, you know, on the road against Athletico. As you see there, uh, handshakes there before this game gets uh, started here. So we're in about six minutes to this one here. As you see, I believe that's uh, Rashford here gets this one in there. Trying to go for that header and cannot connect. That was to Nevis. As they go for the corner kick here coming up. And then uh, you see this one going up there. And can we get this one in there? Oh, it's going to be popped right over the net. Good save there from the goalkeeper. So now 10 minutes uh, after here in this one. Still no score. And oh, look at this pass right here. Yeah, Athletico here trying to get something set up here in the box. And of course, we'll make a nice save there. Nice, nice job there from getting that one away there from their uh, uh, striker who was trying to get in position there for a header so here we are now trying to make a uh, run push here for the ball sterling gets that one to ronaldo ronaldo has it working the on the box here to rashford rashford pops this one in there and that's gonna be a goal goal number one here for man U as we leave this one here one nil that is what we want to do here as we're almost now, what, almost 20 minutes into this game. So this is, uh, I kind of figured that was going to be the case here. As it was going to be a pretty good, you know, this is a pretty good matchup. we got a nice Italian team who is uh, one of the top, uh, probably in the top five every single year in uh, Syria. And, of course, uh, you know, playing against us, we're those kind of the same way. We're always in the top ten, maybe in the top five uh, most years, just barely hanging on in, in the top five. Uh, as of late, especially here the last couple of seasons uh, in IRL. But, uh, you know, we're doing very well here this season, and uh, this is going to be a good matchup here. So I would imagine this would be a low-scoring game. It's, oh, Raphael there gets tripped up, and they're not going to give a card here. It's Raphael's pleading to the referee to give this uh, guy a card. As now Suarez here gives this one there to his teammate, gets it back to him. Trying to work this one in the box here. We got to get back defensively, guys. Got to drop back here. And a nice save from our goalkeeper, who does a great, excellent job here. So far, doing a great job in this matchup here today, as well as through the course of this uh, tournament. As, ooh, another nice save here as Ponga here has it. And now, uh, back here, uh, they're on the attack again. Atletico here, moving this one here, looking for a header here. You cannot get the header. Nice stop there. And a nice job there from Shaw. As now they're now we're starting to push this ball here. As Punga now here going for this one here. Punga getting in the box. Maybe possibly popping this one himself. No, he's gonna find a teammate. This one gets back. He cannot get that one, but Fernandez get pops it in there. I believe it looked like it was to Rashford. He couldn't really get himself squared up. To make the shot, but he did make a shot, but he, he was deflected. And of course, Fernandez was right there to finish that one off. So nice goal. As we get goal number two, it's now 2 0. Look at this. Right there, gets blocked. Then uh, Fernandez is right there to help clean it up. As you see here, oh, nice job there. Gets the uh, 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 nice, uh, well, good attempt there from the goal, from the uh, defender there trying to make it block, but. Just cannot get that ball. Uh, get his foot up there on time. And Fernandez, of course, makes a nice job. Does a great job there. Finish that one off there. Now here you see Atletico here now trying to go here. Oh, Atletico move the ball very well here. And they get on the top right-hand corner. Make a goal. It is now 2-1. Man, you still has the lead here. As the crowd is starting to quiet down now. And, of course, Suarez and his teammates here. Look at this. Great job here. Moving the ball around. Shifting guys around. Trying to find that open shot. And they did so on that very play. As they're now on the scoreboard here for the first time. And they'll help uh, themselves and their team to help them out here as we, uh, depending on how this game goes, try to get in a better position for themselves once they get into the... Um, uh, home game uh, when they have to play us uh, there at their home stadium coming up. 
as you see a penalty or a uh, yeah, called here and this is oh a Raphael and oh I think that might be yeah that's what I thought that was gonna be I thought that was gonna be a penalty of some sort there so penalty kick here we'll see we try to see a stop the big PK and he misses it Suarez not on target on that one at all as our goalkeeper really did not flinch one bit Maybe he knew that that uh, play was that uh, ball's gonna be off target, but now Ronaldo, Ronaldo now here has the ball, gives that one to uh, to uh, uh, one of the fellow players there. But then we see here it's gonna be a yellow card, and that is gonna go on Lodi. And is that I believe he uh, calls a penalty there on Fernandez, and it looks like oh boy, we have a man down. It is Ponga. And he is going to have to be taking out of the lineup here. He's going to be taking out of the starting 11. Not for sure how it would happen there, but we'll have to keep him. We got to keep our guy. We'll try to keep you guys updated on that injury. So we're going to have to make a change here. Looks like if we're going to have to have Fred come in here and to play a little sooner than we want him to. Of course, Fred is uh, or has been uh, training to be a more of a center mid position as opposed to the center defensive mid position that he is currently uh, at right now as we'll see here how rashford has the football here he is one off there to fred fred go just uh just too soon but oh great job there getting that ball there renardo here gives us one to rashford rashford is gonna be ahead of that one just way too much and he is gonna be called off sides so a tough break there as I thought we really had a good shot there to go up by two goals. Now, we'll see here. Nevis has the football here. Nevis getting tripped up in the box. And it looks like it's going to be another call here. And this could be a PK here for Man U. As uh, you see Jimenez there. He is going to get called there on this one. So it's going to be a free kick instead. So we'll see if we can try to get uh, Fuentes here. To get this free kick here. This one's going to be there. And, oh, it's going to be blocked. Great job. Almost had that one across the line there. But the goalkeeper does a great job there keeping that one into play. As now, trying to put the pressure here on them and trying to squeeze them here in the defensive part of the pitch there. Now crossing midfield. Trying to, oh, nice little move there. A little shimmy move there getting around. Nice little pass here. Trying to get this one better. A nice stop there. From the goalkeeper as we're getting close to the 60th minute here and this one that one just just gets chipped right in there at the last and that one just getting chipped at the end for the last second there nice play and look at the replay here great job there as they have followed through on that one there and that one just I mean flows right over the head of the goalkeeper and a perfect angle there of just getting right over the goalkeeper, but then just coming right down right before that uh, crossbar there to finish that one off. As now they've gotten themselves back in this ball game here now two apiece. So this next uh, half hour is going to be really intense here as we got tied up now 2 2. And there you see Rashford is going to get called off sides. Tough break there for us as we'll see how far he was off sides. And uh, yeah, he was off the sides by a smudge there, just enough to, uh, to call that on us. Nice interception there from Shaw. So now Rashford has the football here. Now Rashford trying to push this one here, trying to see if he can find a cross of some sort here to help us out. Gives this one up the middle there, fires this one in there to uh, Fernandez. And Fernandez tried to fire this one in there. But Ronaldo, he's going to get called off sides. And we'll see how far he off sides he was. And yeah, he is significantly off sides there. Uh, by a uh, couple of, uh, of uh, yards there and there you see again trying to work that one in the box just try, I mean really just in this situation just trying to put some pressure on that uh, goalkeeper here and he's so far living up to the challenge as we'll see uh, oh try to get that header there for McGuire couldn't now Rasher has that one to McGuire McGuire try to pass that one inside of the box but it's going to be denied and so here we are trying to Get a push going here for ourselves and obviously trying to, uh, you know, stop them from scoring a goal here. 
as we're near the uh, getting close to uh, the last 10 minutes of the game and that's gonna be a great deflection there thank goodness because nobody was there to defend him as uh, he could almost had a good he I mean, pretty much had an open shot at us but we just could not defend this one so now we're having trouble here on our defensive third here as we just cannot get this ball away from Atletico's uh, forwards here and finally able to push this one here now Fuentes has it Fuentes now here trying to make a push and oh he had a ball there he could have gave that to for, uh, Renardo but unfortunately that he's going to be pickpocketed there on that one as look like we got another guy out there that's hurt and right now we just can't afford people getting hurt on our right now and there you see a nice defense there and oh thank goodness our goalkeeper makes sure we don't score on ourselves so Atletico here now really trying to get something going here as they're trying to get in a better position here as we're getting close to the 90th minute here. Trying to push this one forward as you see Fred there fires this one there at the goalkeeper. He blocks it. Nice shot as we go for another corner. Trying to get this one in there and a good, another great opportunity for us. But unfortunately, we do not do anything with it. Looks like Rafael is going to be also subbed out here as he's hurt. And so we got two players now, Ponga and Rafael Hurt. And by the sounds of a Ponga's injury, maybe a serious one. As uh, we'll get an update there on that one here in just a bit. Um, and it doesn't sound too good, according to our to the doctors here at the game. And we'll see here, three minutes left. Come on, fire that call, blow that final whistle there. That's what happens as we get the final whistle. And <laughs> we walk out of here with just... Well, with a draw, as we have to now get ready for the second half of this matchup here with Atletico coming up in the uh, later on in this episode, as we'll have to head to uh, Italy and play against them in the second leg of this semifinal matchup. So we got some work to do coming up, and to already get that work done, we are going to have to make sure we play a better football than we did compared to in this uh, in this first game here today. Uh, we are just defensively just letting things get through. Not Our guys are not dropping back or at least staying back uh, like I requested. So that's definitely something that um, we're, we're going to coach or the Brock Benjamin is going to have to address here uh, once we uh, get ready for this uh, next game coming up here which will be back in the Premier League. We'll take on Brentford here. And of course, we will uh, do some uh, changes and some modifications to the lineup here as it will be needed. And it's pretty good at Brentford here as uh, we've seen the numbers there from that last game there. Uh, but Brentford, uh, 33 matches they've had so far here. They're eight, seven, and 18. And they have not been uh, shooting very well. They've given us 65 goals. By far, the uh, not the worst in the Premier League. I think mean, Brighton's uh, right there with 72, but they're right near that. Uh, they've only scored 38 goals here this season. Currently right now 31 points, and they are hanging. Hanging only at least by five, about, about six uh, points ahead of Brighton. That's roughly two games. Uh, they're up on Brighton before getting relegated there. So, uh, they'll, of course, need to um, try to get some uh, get themselves together here in today's game. You see Avon Tony, he's their leading goal keep goal scorer here as he has 10 goals so far this season with six assists. I believe he leads assists as well. And of course, we got to try to do our best to try to shut him down and keep him quiet when we can. Uh, but yeah, we cannot have any uh, snafus or issues like we did in that last one there. Uh, against uh, Atletico because uh, boy that was just brutal so we are definitely gonna have to come off uh, in this game and of course in that Atletico game we're really gonna have to come out uh, guns blazing and just uh, come out here and just score uh, often more and often as we can uh, in this matchup as uh, you see uh, one of our right backs here he's almost uh, healthy enough to come back to play I think we're going to give him another, at least another week or two before we can. Now, as for Punga, uh, we'll get a full diagnosis, but uh, by, the, by the looks of it, uh, at least what they were saying in an email, 
that he could be significantly out for the rest of the season. Looks like a possible knee injury. My guess would be as an MCL, ACL tear of some sort. Uh, that would definitely put him out for six months to a year. Um, so we could not, we, you know, there's a good chance that we will not see him back. Or obviously, we will not see him back for the pitch for the rest of the season. But he could miss a good portion of next season as well. So we are definitely going to have to be looking at uh, some CMs uh, coming up in this upcoming um, in the summer transfer window or the start of the season uh, to help us out and fill that void, especially uh, if we don't have anybody that we I feel comfortable to bring up for the youth academy to help us out um, with that uh, in that situation there. But as you take a look here, Fred, who is stepping up here coming in today's game, and of course we've been training him to be more of a uh, central mid uh, as opposed to the central defensive mid. Uh, but now with Ponga out being out right now, I think that might be a case here that we might have to switch our uh, formation and be more defensive uh, more than anything here. So having Fred as a maybe a, maybe keep him at put him at a CDM might be benefit for us here. Uh, but we do have, uh, I believe, Danny Van Vanderbeek. Uh, he's coming back. He's a, a center. Or, yeah, he's a center mid as well. So. We could him put him there in that position as a center mid and uh, leave um, you know leave uh, Fred there uh, and you just kind of use him as the defensive purpose here. We got to try to make sure we don't let nobody score there. Oh guys, what happened there on that play? We should have not have let Brentford score, but they will do so, and they'll now tie this one up now one apiece. In today's matchup here, look at this. Just bad defense overall. It only had one guy there, barely there to defend. And, of course, if he did, he was defending there. He All he had to do was just get that ball to the uh, other guy that was on the other side of him. And uh, good, decent cross pass. And that would have been another. That would definitely would have scored. So, either way, that would have been their scoring opportunity there for us. As uh, now here we are trying to work this one in the box. Oh, Rick uh, Richardson, of course, coming in here today for Ronaldo. He will get uh, no, actually, it'll be Santos there. He Santos there will get called on that play, and he's going to get receive a yellow card there. And oh yeah, that is uh, he's playing very frustrated there. That was a bad call there on our part. Should have made a we should not have made a defensive play. And there you see. Oh, one of our guys getting worked there in the box and they're not going to really call anything there so i don't know now i kind of feel like it was justified here but of course we did just side tackle him uh, pretty nasty there first so it was only right to i guess get us back here as fred here works oh fred gets bumped off and fred should have had a good he was trying to set himself up for a good uh, uh pass or no not a pass but a good shot there Maybe try to stretch it over to the far right, uh, far post there, but he gets pushed there, and so now going for this free kick here. Let's try to see if we can drill it in there, and oh, nice save from the goalkeeper. As now we still are tied up one apiece, and a nice save there from the goalkeeper as we try to get the header there on this one. Still one one. Now we're getting too close to halftime here, and of course trying to move this ball here. As man, City here, got to try to uh, make a good uh, pressure here. Trying to find Ricarline. Ricarline gets this goal, and that's going to be a goal there. As we have two minutes still remaining here in stoppage. And a nice play there for us. As we now lead us this one now by one. It is two to one. Man U on a great play there. And a nice finish as we get around to the fence and then just shoot, just put that one into the back of the net. Great play there for us. And hopefully we can pick up the pace here going into the second half as that's going to be his eighth goal of the season. Speaking of the second half, we'll see Man U here trying to get uh, back on defense here. And like I said, we were slipping up quite a bit here. And it looks like same thing's happening. Well, we've seen it already happen already here in this one. Nice uh, chip uh, pass there to the uh, uh, Brighton player or to the uh, uh, Brantford player. Now, look at this. Going forward here. Good job here for Fuentes. Fuentes here has a shot. And he's going to nail this one. What a shot there on that angle. 
as he's able to get gold number three here for Man U, and the crowd is loving it. 3 1 here at Old Trafford as the Man U Red Devils showing off what they can do here today and putting on a showing here. Of course, already won the Premier League title, but trying to uh, continue playing uh, strong here for the remainder of the season and trying to make sure. To let everyone else know that the, just because they won the Premier League uh, and that, that pretty much they don't have to really do too much to win that title now because they already won it, doesn't mean that we we're going to be slacking here. So we still got a couple of Premier League games left. And of course, if we can uh, play and more we'll play this next game with Atletico and can move on, then we can get to the finals of the Champions League. And of course, uh, I think we still have an FA Cup uh, final as well. So now, oh, geez, try to get that one in there. But uh, nice steal, nice interception there. Now Tony here going for this one here. No, guys, we let him we let him get another goal again. <sighs> we just, I don't know why our guys are just so not listening to the idea. I mean, even when we play super uh, attack, you know, I, I always keep the, you know, Mainly the two, actually all four. Actually, I haven't set them all four back. The whole back row, both uh, cor both the center mid or center backs and left and right backs are supposed to stay back. But what for whatever reason they're not listening to that today, and they're getting involved. And when I really need them to just stay back there and get ready for the defense on a counter play like that, as he's down done that twice now on us here, making it now three two. So we should not be in this situation that we're in right now with uh, Brentford. Yes, bro, we shoot, shoot, shoot this one here and try to get that goal back. And that's a goal as Fuentes gets his second goal here today. And it said it on the screen, he's hurt, but he doesn't look like he's hurt right now. I think he has a lot of adrenaline in him as he is fired up. And the crowd is too. Take a look here at this one. Just a great job there getting that uh, cross. Sets himself up. Perfectly nice there, and it just it makes a nice little kiss there onto the ball and into the net. As again, he's on the prowl here on this one, trying to find that win. So we got an extra four minutes of stoppage here, and here we are trying to just play some good defense. Oh, nice job there defensively, but come on, that don't give him a warning. That was a good tackle, and he was playing. He was playing right on the ball. Okay, so anyway, <laughs> we'll see here. Trying to go and uh, see Sterling here now has it. Sterling here, it says, hey, fuck, yeah, screw this. I'm going for this one here. Sterling going for the, the go for the chance to score in this. This has to be a card here. You, oh, yes. He gives him a red card. Ian uh, Pin, Pinnock gets hit with that red card. Great job here. Trips up Sterling. That was, I mean, he, I mean, he had, Sterling had him by a, maybe by a yard, but geez, I mean, I'm sure the, the shot would have been blocked and deflected some kind of way, but uh, they give up and almost, uh, we, I, to be honest, I think it was in the box. I don't think it, it was in the box. It should have been a, a PK, but we'll take the corner, we'll or take the free kick here. Fortunately, uh, we don't get anything out of it, but we do get the victory here today. Five attempts, two goals there for Bruno, as uh, he is really stepping up here as the leader, one of the leaders on this team, and we get another victory here at home uh, against this time uh, going against Brentford here in this one. So, uh, actually, oh no, that's not Tony's uh, second goal. He only had one goal here today. Uh, See, like he had two goals. <laughs> But uh, there you see your final score, 42 is your final. Uh, we had 54% of the uh, possessions, uh, 15 shots to their nine. Uh, passing wise, they had more pa passing, uh, 152 to 104. Tackling, 38 tackles to their 16. Uh, tackles won, they uh, won by three. So, uh, you know, defensively, they, they did a good job there. They, I mean, definitely, obviously, you know, forced the uh, tie and then finally. Uh, we were able to uh, get lucky and make some uh, nice goals there to break that tie and, of course, eventually break away. 
uh, getting two more goals after that uh, second time they tied up with us. Uh, we did a great job uh, for the most part there. So, uh, and this was, like I said, we didn't have our best team out there. We had a little kind of a mix and match of the first string and second string guys, uh, but they'll get better. And uh, you know, we're, we're, we've been training those guys to get to try to get on the same level as the first stringers, but it's going to take some time. So as we take a look here, wrap up uh, here. Of course, today was not a, really a game that we really necessarily needed to win, but you know, uh, we've been dominant all season long. We can't just now just stop being not being dominant anymore just because we won the Premier League. Got to keep it going. We still got a couple more Premier League games to play. So we're going to play the second leg of this one here. It's tied up 2-2. Uh, and, of course, the, the Real Madrid and uh, Man City game is also 2-2. So the winner of these two games, they will match up and see each other in a uh, neutral site for the Champions League game or Champions League final. And that's going to be one game to decide who is going to be the Champions League uh, champion. As uh, we take a look here, we are going to rotate here. Not necessarily rotate here, but we're going to put some guys in here that we normally wouldn't put in here. Uh, McAlee, I think I want to put in here for more so. He will play in the center mid position, but he's going to be more of a defensive player. Uh, if you guys don't understand what I mean, he's going to be, I'm trying to have him play that center mid, but he's going to be more a defensive type of guy. Uh, I was thinking about changing the formation for this game for particular, but I wanted Lingard was one requesting a uh, chance to play in this one here today, and of course, uh, you know, um, Fuentes did not. Uh, he he, you know, he is not didn't you know, he's still a little banged up from that last game there. Uh, yeah, you know, kind of. Some ways, I kind of wish I put Lingard in the game, but then then again, we probably not would have won that game. And you know, like I said, I still want to play strong and uh, still go out there and at least try to put on a decent match with the guys we have out there. Um, so, because, uh, you know, just because we won the Premier League, you just, you know, and the season is kind of technically over for us, uh, but we still have a couple more Premier League games left to play, and of course, we still got more competition like this one here. So we're in the semifinals. We are in Italy against uh, Real Madrid and at, um, at Atletico Real, Real Atletico de, de Madrid, uh, and so we got to try to get some uh, road goals here. This is going to be very key for us uh, because you know this is on you know this well aggregate, but at the same time we got to be able to show that we can score on the road uh, just as well as we can at home. So as you see here, a little squabble here, of course, a little bulletin board material going into this game. A little talk uh, about how important this game is for both squads. As you see, a yellow card there, we call upon Lodi. And there you see, shot there, trying to get this one in there. Ronaldo, of course, playing today's game. And, of course, this will be one of his final games of the season. And we get a nice go there as our son comes in here. And I believe he is taking, um, I can't remember whose spot that is on that side of the, on the left side of the ball there. But he is coming in here to play the left winger. Uh, so there you see. It's nice to see if we can be able to get a different player here to help us out. And uh, and and not to mention coming here and a score like he did right there. As uh, we now take this one by one here on the road. Let's see if we can try to grab some more uh, some more opportunities here for some scoring for a lot of our, some of the different faces that we normally don't get to see here um, in games like this. So as we uh, take a look here, at the ethical here, trying to move the ball in a somewhat pace like they were before. And so far, doing a pretty good job of it. Uh, as, ooh, nah, not, not so good there. As looks like uh, we could be uh, seeing somebody go off the pitch. That is going to be Luke Shaw. And looks like he is going to be named the player that's going to be in it. So we're going to be down a player here. So we're going to be playing with 10 men instead of the 11. <laughs> so Shaw will have to come off the uh, pitch here. As we'll see here. Oh, good job there. So now we're definitely going to have to just play some really good, solid offense. we got to make some good uh, – offensively, we just got to make good shots here. This one's going to get away from us, and that's going to be an offsides. And that was intended there for Ronaldo, and that was just a bad play. 
on um, our part there of trying to move the football here. It's so now back to here defensively here. Got to do what we have. And I think in some ways, I think we're killing here. I think I'm kind of glad that I put it like kind of I'm playing him as a defensive type of player here. Instead of a you know center mid, he's playing that center defensive mid. And now I kind of wish I did play that <laughs> for center defensive mid formation there. Um, so we wouldn't, you know, just get in this situation here by losing a man. And it looks like our sales are going to have to come off the field here. This is not good either. He is grabbing his knee. And we've already got one guy having knee issues already. Looks like we're going to have now two. So in two games now, our Atletico is now taking out two of our players, Pongo and now Arsenio, as he will have to be taken off the field here. And that means Mata or Ricarlon will have to come into play. I think Ricarlon actually, he does play, yes, he does play. Uh, his secondary position is a left winger, so he'll have to come in and play that here today. As Lingard here now has the football. Lingard finds uh, Rashford. Sterling, I should say. That's what it is. Uh, Sterling's not playing today's game. He needs rest. I knew I, I knew who the who. I'm starting to think. I'm like, okay, Rashford's on the one side. I know, I know who the other guy's name, is, and they're just heavy. It was Sterling. So Sterling's not playing today's game, as he is on, uh, on on the bench, uh, rested up. Uh, of course, uh, we still have a few more games left of the season here. As Rashford hands that one off to Fred. Fred pop turns. Pops and drops one in there. Nice goal, as that is goal number one for him. That's the second goal here in today's game, as this is what we are wanting to see from our boys here, especially in this uh, predicament that we're currently, currently in right now, with now two players out with knee issues. And with uh, the way how Arsenio was on the ground there, it does not look too good. Could have another guy with an MCL or ACL tear there. Meaning we'll have two guys now out for the year. Meaning we have to figure out a way how to replace those guys in the offseason. And there you see Atletico decides to join the party here. They score a goal. It is now 2-1 in this ball game. But now, uh, but now an aggregate is now 4-3. So we're in dangerous territory here, guys. We cannot be score letting them score any more goals. We got to get back on this uh, hunt here for another goal. I think, uh, you know, uh, well, we have to score two goals so far. I think we might have to score five here in this game and just make sure we just don't let them score, you know, match uh, match up with us here. As we see this one getting dropped right in there. No problem there for Atletico. It's now they're down by one, both in this game and, of course, in aggregate. It's now Fred has the football here. Fred going for a shot, and it's going to be denied. Nice uh, stop there for the goalkeeper as he gets in front of this one here. Now trying to go for the corner kick here, trying to set up something. And no, we cannot get the corner. And now Atletico here trying to make the push. And, of course, they know we're down by a man. So this should be pretty simple for them as we have to drop back here quickly. And, of course, our center mids are going to have to really step up here. Fred, as well as uh, our attacking center mid. And, of course, uh, you know, our kind of our McKinley there who's playing the more defensive, you know, more of a center defensive mid than the actual center mid that I want him to play as here today. He has really uh, did a great job here doing so. As now here you see Renardo here has a hole here. Renardo looking for somebody to help him out. Renardo. Looks here, goes around here, finds Lindgard. Lindgard shoots, but he, it's going to be tipped away. Ah, could not get that one in there. That was one I was really hoping that we could get. As now we'll have the ball here. McKinley here pushes this one out there. And, oh, nobody's there. And now here they go. They're going to try to make a run here for this one. But uh, one of our goalkeepers, or one of our guys there, no. That was a easy tip, a nice job there. As Suarez able to get that ball, oh, you couldn't design that any better. I know that wasn't a, I, that. I know that's not a design play, but that was just so helpful for him, and just horrible for us. As oh my goodness, I can't. I can't remember if that was our slide tackle that helped him out there on that one there, but nonetheless, that is not what I was looking forward to. 
and we're gonna give up another goal here as it's been a really tough game here this semifinal game I, I mean I knew this was gonna be a tough but geez it's getting even worse now here as we got two guys out and back-to-back semifinal games here as now Carl's on here going out on the outside here trying maybe trying to find a guy here passes one there to Renardo and Renardo just drills it in the back to, uh, top net there in this one it's now 3-2 <clears throat> in today's game 5-4 in aggregate so come on guys we gotta try to get something going here as uh, Renardo right there and he just drills this one there not much the goalkeeper can do there it's uh, he was just uh, getting played very well there in that box now here oh lose the ball there thought we passed it <clears throat> but instead it's going to be now a push here from Atletico Atletico here knows they're they're got the numbers in their favor here and this one's going to be stopped right there as there's three additional minutes left in this ball game and now can we hold on to this football here finish this game out and come out here as a winner <coughs> excuse me ball being stopped there nice job <coughs> Excuse me. And that will be it. We walk out of here with a nice victory. 3-2 to two is your final. And we win this one 5-4 in aggregate. Nice job our boys did there in today's game. So, beautiful victory there. Cannot say uh, how how proud I am of our guys doing that, but for the most part here, as I'm uh, <laughs> sitting here choking on my own, <laughs> I guess because uh, trust me, this was how it was when I was actually playing the game. Uh, I had to I had to sit there and think like, okay, how in the hell we're we gonna get? You know, I don't want to go into overtime, but then maybe if we do go to the extra minutes, maybe that'll be a good way. Uh, to kind of reset and get things going in our direction. But then, you know, in, in past games and other things, I've seen people play this game. Uh, when you go to extra time, it's usually in favor of the CPU and not the user. So it's like, yeah, don't want to go do that, all that. So, uh, but yeah, we get out of here with a nice victory here. And of course, now the question is, who do we play in the finals of the Champions League? That is the question I'm really concerned about. And of course, I have a pretty good feeling who it's going to be here. And I don't want them to be them. But if it is them, well, we'll definitely be dominating this season as we have been in the Premier League. And of course, you guys know who I'm talking about. And I am talking about Man City. So we dominate them all season long. And we can do so here now in the Champions League with a victory uh, over them. Uh, but of course, uh, you know, Real, uh, Real Madrid is also a dangerous team as well. So I kind of don't want to, de definitely don't want to deal with them, especially with the injuries that we've had. Uh, but we'll take a look here at the Premier League. 91 points. Of course, we've already clinched the Premier League, but 91 points. We're 29, 4, and 1, I believe. Uh, and then there you see the bottom half there, or the, at least the mid, uh, car, mid table there. Uh, Southampton number 16 with there with 37 points Crystal Palace Wolves and uh, and, and man, uh, West Ham and then the final rele relegation there zone Brighton Waterford and uh, Norwich there with uh, their points there 27 points for Brighton Waterford 24 and Norwich with a 19 Brentford just barely hanging on there uh, they still have 31 points there but still a couple more games left so they can still uh, if they slip up here any, and Brighton uh, can get themselves together there, they can uh, switch spots there and uh, uh, have it in Brentford in the relegation zone. But as we take a look here, we'll wrap up here today's game as uh, with a nice victory there against Atletico. But we'll get ready and we'll see here against Brighton there. Of course, like I said, Brighton, one of those teams in rele relegation. Of course, they have nothing to live for but to be spoilers. And we'll try to avoid that, hopefully, coming up in the next episode as we'll take them on on the road. And uh, we'll see how well we do against them. And of course, we'll give you guys more of an update 
on the players of uh, like Punga. Uh, like I said, he's going to be out for quite some time now, and Arsenio is going to be out for quite a while as well. So if you did enjoy today's episode, please leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you happen to be new. Hit that bell notification so you guys will be notified of this series or any other series that happens to drop here on the channel. You guys can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Discord. Of course, all the other social media down below. As well as uh, go check us out over on Twitch. We do live stream over there occasionally as, as well over on Kick. Links down there are, are both, the, both of those are down below in the description. And of course, don't forget to check us out on our main channel over on ESGN net there uh, as we got some other uh, nice FIFA and FC 24 content over there as well. But that's it for today's episode. Stay tuned for some more Manchester United coming up as we're getting ready to wrap up the season here. I think we got like two more episodes before we wrap up season one. As always, guys, keep yourselves really healthy. Have a great day, and I will see you all next time. <laughs>